Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro 2021 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to collect all your files into a single folder so that you can A, reuse them anytime and not get that media missing issue that we often see as uh, video editors, and B, you can put all your content in one place so that people remotely can work on your content with you and you can know that all your stuff is stored in that one folder. The first step here, as you can see here, is I've loaded in a bunch of footage. And in particular, I've loaded in a variety, including obviously some video files. I've got some audio files here. I've got a still image of my puppy dog, Kingston. And it's all in the timeline here. It's a bit of a mess, but that's the point, is I want to show you how to combine all these different files and what it looks like when you collect it. So here we go. The first step here is once you've got the footage in your timeline like I have here you want to go up to file and then right at the bottom there's this project manager option left click on that and you're going to see some pretty cool stuff in particular at the top you're going to see sequence and I've got a sequence I've got nested sequences I even made a sub sequence just for the hell of it to show you what I'm doing here so it automatically selects the first sequence but I select all of the sequences because what I want to do is I want to have make sure that everything is in a single spot. So there we go. It's all there now. You'll also see just underneath there, collect files and copy to new location. This is what we want to do. You don't need to consolidate and transcode it, I find. Generally, you don't need that. Um, on the right side here, you get some more options to exclude unused clips. I tend to unclick that because sometimes you get some B-roll in there. And if someone remotely is working and... They want to, you know, maybe they have a difference of opinion and they want to look at some of your B-roll footage. It won't show up if you exclude this. So uncheck that. Also, I'm going to include everything else here, including renaming the media files to match clip names. That's fine. It is going to create a new folder and that folder is going to have all of this content in it. So you are going to need some disk space. So if you want to calculate how big this is going to be, you can left click calculate. You'll notice here that I've got 35 gigs on my hard drive, so I've got enough space. Uh, generally, I should be just fine. And the last and the most important part for this, well, not the most important part, but one of the most important parts, is creating a unique destination path. This is where they're going to save the folder. And if you create it, I'm going to create it in Movies, because that's the folder I'm going to use. And I'm going to call this uh, Curtis, which is my name. And I'm going to click Create. This is where we're going to save everything. That said, if you wanted to make this something where people can use it remotely, you may want to consider uploading it to the Creative Cloud Files directory because that's a place where, you know, maybe multiple people on your Adobe account can access that. Alternatively, I have OneDrive and Google Drive, and you can make folders there too if people are going to be working on it remotely. Okay, I'm going to hit left click on Choose, then I'm going to left click on OK. This project requires you to save it, which is perfectly normal. I'm going to left click on yes. Saving project, analyzing it. Let's go see if all of the content is there. This is the final step. I'm going to left click on that. Now I'm going to go to my movies drive. There should be something called Curtis. That's me. Copy on title. I haven't renamed it. And there it is, guys. Everything is there. It worked perfectly. The audio, the images, the, the video. It's all there, guys. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I got a ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.